continues to be quite pleasant. I told you the fair was going on. That's not the only thing that's happening. The Blueberry Festival is going on. And so we took a poll in the newsroom. We say, who wants to go to the Blueberry Festival? And who do you think was the first to jump out of her seat, raise her hand and say, I'll go. Our own little bluebell, Lindsay Monroe. Lindsay, how are things out there? Well, thank you, Kevin. I think I'll give you credit for the really nice weather out here today. It's a perfect Thursday afternoon for the fifth annual Blueberry Festival. Now, I'm down just off of 7th Street in Terre Haute in front of the Central Presbyterian Church. We got some live jams going on behind me. We got a crowd filling in. Also, several live vendors in the corn. The iconic blueberries we have here. What we're all here for, the Blueberry Festival. Now joining me now, we have Jim Spear, who of course is helping the event run smoothly. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Yep, this is an event with the Terra Foods Cooperative Market, and we're working on opening a local and organic grocery store. So we're trying to get membership today. We're trying to get more members to buy into owning this grocery store. Uh, we're actually approaching the point where we need to get to, to open the grocery store. So we need to get to 600 members, and we're uh, just about 30 short of that right now. So with a cooperative grocery store, the member owners own the grocery store, make the decisions, and it'll be a local and organic, full-service grocery store located downtown. That's awesome. So if you can, get out, sign up for membership, and also enjoy some, some blueberries. They'll be down here until 7 o'clock this evening. For now, News 10 will be right back.